Hello, my name is Stephen Carr, and I'd like to welcome you back to your SketchUp cooking class with accessories. This is our part B. Um, just again, looking at some of the things that we created here by adding materials. Um, again, we can use our colors. Okay, let me just just make that into. I'll just make it a group for now, but we should be making it into components as we discussed earlier. And uh, we can be selecting this one, two, and soften edges. So that will make things look a little bit nicer. Um, we could be adding materials to this is. Uh, independent lampshade part here so I could just be adding uh, colors to this could be trying to do it into more of a kind of a creamy color shape and in edit we're going to uh, trying to make it translucent I don't know why it won't let me make it translucent maybe I need to change to a different color So a little interesting here. I'm not quite sure why I can't get this color here. Maybe if I change to a fabric or a texture. Hmm. It's trying to make this a little bit more transparent, trying to get away from the uh, translucent materials. I'm not sure what my problem is, but we're getting the idea here. Um, I could try to make a different material for here. Just looking for something that just gives us a bit of a texture, a bit of a color. So it's maybe not the best, but again, I'm not too concerned about what we're using here. Um, let's just carry on a little bit. We want to work with uh, creating, this is to try to create a candle. This is going to be a candle holder. So select on my path, my tool. And uh, do the same thing here, it's path my tool so I can select this to make this into a group and I'll just erase this and then I'm going to select this to make this a group so again you could add a material to this and we get our different materials here So let's just have a look at what we could do with the sandbox tools. Um, here I've created a grid 12 by 12, and this one is 12 by 24. Here I've created a, a six inch radius circle, two of them actually. This is with offset with one inch. I'm going to uh, scale this times two. And again, I'll do my offset for one inch one inch one inch 
some something's not right here. I'll just go back a bit here and try again. One inch. One inch. One inch. So what I want to do with these is um, I'm just going to uh, I'll leave the bottom one here and I'll just pull this up say a half. Same with this one. And I have uh, created sort of this the shape here. I could uh, select this now and click on my from contours and now what I have is kind of a skin here I'm just going to hide that and then I can just basically erase everything else or remove it whatever you like to do and then go back to view or edit on hide last so I have a little plate here not quite sure why it has that little bottom in it looks like a double surface so I'm going to try the same thing here by just uh, pulling this up a half inch Point five, and again, just select this, click on my From scratch tool and delete this or from contours I mean delete that edit on hide last so now I've got some pretty nice looking shapes actually so for the, the uh, from scratch just gonna right click and I'm just going to intersect with model sorry not intersect with model but um, smooth so soften that's cool. Same thing here. Smooth soften. Then this just allows me to work with it. Um, I'm just going to use, I'm going to edit this. I'm just going to double click on it to get it so I can edit it. Click on my smooth tool and just change this radius to say two inch radius. And Just grab the corner, pull it down. This just makes them the same. So now I'm just going to go and change this to say uh, four inch. click on the middle and pull that down to the same so maybe make that five inch So that just gives us a shape that we're working with and I'll try the same thing here.
change this to two inch. Try somewhere near the middle. So that's just giving us a little bit of a shape. So again, I can just add a material. I drop it just uh, this guy, just so we can give some materials, some colors. Not sure quite why this one has that little patch in the middle. Something happened there. Maybe you have to try it a couple times to get this sorted out. So this is the uh, conclusion of our accessories. Again, remember to name your accessories with the first three letters of your last name so that I can identify them when you hand them in. Have fun, and we'll see you on the next class.